the Convention and Exhibition Center for Gymnastics. And that's where we're going to begin things today. The women's all-around and Kevin Harlan. As the sun sets on the gymnastics competition, we've been treated to some great performances and some great stories. Yelena Zamolochikova brought home the gold in both the vault and the floor exercise. Fellow Russian Svetlana Horkina was perfection on the uneven bars. And little Holly Weiss set the stage for the young American team winning two bronze medals. Tonight, Holly's teammates, Carly Patterson and Caitlin White, step up to take their turn in the women's all-around. Gymnastics comes to a close tonight, and they've saved the best for last. It's the women's individual all-around, and another full house will again watch some of the best in the world. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kevin Harlan, alongside three-time Olympian and gold medal winner Dominique Dawes and Olympic gold medalist Bart Connor. Wow, what a lineup tonight. We're certainly in for a dramatic battle featuring, of course, Svetlana Horkina, the drama queen of gymnastics. Now, her final event will be the vault where she has struggled in the past. So tonight will come down to the final rotation and the final performance. The most consistent gymnast here is Yelena Zamolochikova from Russia. She looks strong, and of course, she has to be considered a favorite based on her consistency. Good, and we've got a couple of strong American entrants as well. Yes, we do. Two American juniors will be competing in tonight's all-around competition in front of a packed house. Caitlin White and Carly Patterson will have another opportunity to shine at the Goodwill Games. Earlier in the week, though, in the individual event competition, Carly had trouble on the balance beam and Caitlin had trouble on the vault. This will be a great chance for them to prove to the world that they are among the best in this competition. Should be a terrific night. And for more, let's send it over to D-Line Up. Well, Kevin, to add to what Dominique said, the value of this Goodwill Games experience for the four American gymnasts selected to participate cannot be overstated. Three of the four of them finished in the top four at the recent U.S. Junior Nationals, but none of them are age-eligible to compete in the upcoming World Championships. A gymnast must turn 16 during the calendar year to compete at Worlds. Still, these juniors are the future of U.S. gymnastics, and they will be expected to lead the way at the 2004 Olympic Games. So every opportunity like this evening that pits them against senior level competitors cannot be cannot be overstated and actually can be truly advantageous kevin so first up from romania sabina kojikov she is the reigning european junior champion on the vault yeah, Sabina is an up-and-coming star for the romanian team in practices she looked clean consistent definitely getting the job done the vault that she's going to be performing of course one of the toughest She's 15 years old. She was too young to try out for the 2000 Olympics in Sydney. And in tonight's team, excuse me, all-around competition, the athletes do two different vaults. They can be from the same class of vaults, but they have to be different, so a lot of pressure to put two good vaults down. Round-off entry to a one-and-a-half twist performs beautifully. You have to be pleased with that performance. Her first vault, 9-3-2-5. Gymnasts run 25 meters up to the vaulting table, and this new vaulting table, of course, is the first major international competition utilizing this new vaulting table, and the athletes love it. It's a much larger surface. It's providing better and safer vaulting for all the athletes. Nice, beautiful double twister there. A little bit of a slight form deduction. About a tenth or so taken off on the landing, but other than that, it was beautiful. Sabina Kojikar from Romania. Here's the round off entry part onto the horse. She stretches back and see the wider surface. More room for air. Beautiful double twist. She has to be pleased with that performance. Kojikar of Romania with a 9-3-6-8. And now from the United States, 13-year-old Carly Patterson from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Carly's going for a front entry vault, quite different from the last vaulter. Very nice, clean. 
Ryan Balt, front handspring, front pike with a half turn. That has a maximum start value of 9.6. How much is speed important on that runway? Before they hit that spring. Well, it's definitely important to see speed equals height in the sport of gymnastics, and uh, you want to be running down the vault runway with control, but also with power. We've talked about the width and the depth of this vaulting table. Watch, she barely clears the end of it. A little difficult to see from that particular angle. Nine one five zero on the first vault for Carly Patterson. This vault is the Yurchenko style, where she goes backward up onto the vaulting table. 9.7 start value for a one and a half twist. Beautiful vault. Mm -hmm. Nice repulsion for a little girl. Beautiful <laughs> landing, nice, clean, stretch form. She plays third all around at the 2001 U.S. Junior Championships. Here's the round off entry right here. Beautiful placement on the board. Reaches back into that nice, wide surface. And that's a blind landing right there, and she does it quite nicely. And for Carly Patterson of the U.S. down the vault, 9-2-2-5. Now from Russia, one of the best in the world, Svetlana Horkina. This is definitely Svetlana's forte. There's two skills in this routine named after her. Won the individual gold in the bars in the 94, 98, 2001 Goodwill Games. This is just spectacular low bar work. There's one Hortina right there. And there's the second Ooh. Hortina. It's going to be hard for the judges to find a deduction in that routine other than the landing. Another day at the office for her. Look at that face. <laughs> she knows that's the easy one for her. The other three events are much riskier for her in terms of consistency. This is the one she had to bag early. This one she can do in her sleep. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our competition is being broadcast live into the USA tonight. So you can add to that. Beautiful one and a half turn right there, which is also known as a Dawes, into a Hortina. Dawes, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> is there a Harlan? That's her first. Yeah, there's <laughs> one. I'll show it to you later on. <laughs> <laughs> Svetlana Horkina from Russia on the uneven bars, 9737. Next up, Caitlin White from the United States, 14-year-old Texan, born this in McKinney a, and from Allen, Texas. This is a great opportunity for Caitlin because she had trouble on this event the other day. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, fall. Lower start value, but performed quite nicely, very clean, great landing. This vault done perfectly is worth a 9.4, and her mechanics are great here. Nice repulsion, beautiful line. Best landing of the day so far. Mm -hmm. Very powerful on the leg events. Second on the vault at the 2001 U.S. Junior Championships was young Caitlin White. She has had some injury problems, right elbow, injured rib, knee surgery. Very nicely performed. Congratulations from her coach there, Evgeny Marchenka. Those big blue eyes of hers are about as big as saucers, aren't they? <laughs> they were the other day. We were in the airport together. We all flew down here together, and she said, who's going to be in this meet? And I said, Porkina Zamolochikova. And those eyes went wide open like, oh, aren't they going to retire soon? <laughs> Caitlin White on the vault, 9156. And that concludes the first rotation of the women's all-around.
We're back to the Brisbane Convention and Exhibition Center after this. We're back in the final night of gymnastics. Kevin Harlan with Dominique Dawes and Bart Connor. After one rotation, Russian Zetlana Horkina is number one. From the U.S., number four, Carly Patterson. And number six, Caitlin White. And now the uneven bars, and from the United States, Carly Patterson. Just improvising a little bit right now. And it's done that quite well. Nice Takachev release move. Dominique, she's 13 years old. Does she, at that age, do you really have an awareness of the pressure and the things going on around you? You know, I can't speak for her, but I know when I was 13 and I was competing internationally, you're nervous, yes, because you want to perform well, but you don't realize the pressure, you don't realize the media, and you don't realize the impact that you have on fans and people back at home. It's a beautiful routine. Oh, nice right. And you know, she showed a lot of maturity in that routine, because as Dominique mentioned, she had to improvise a couple of those pirouette skills. <laughs> you could see oh, it on her face. Hey, hey, coach, I kind of made that one up, but what it came out all right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Here's coming up to her dismount right here. It's like a half in, half out. Nice landing. And for little Carly Patterson on the uneven bars, 8 9 3 7 for the American. Now from Russia, Zumlo Chikiba. Oh my goodness. Wow. wow. She goes for a tough mound and she was off, but she managed to save it. This girl is a fighter. She's a little sloppy on this event. But she is the reigning Russian all around champion. That was a Jaeger somersault. Hop full. Hop full. Sakachev. Nice combination right there. Oh, slipped her hand a little bit and it didn't even phase her. She's still going. She could do this with one arm. She's so strong. Yeah, she's definitely strong. She's keeping this routine going. It's lacking in swing in and also in cleanliness. She definitely's got some nice tricks well, going on. She kept fighting, didn't she? Yes, she did. She kept fighting. Her about. I'd give an extra point just for that. The fact that didn't give up. Here's a difficult mount right here. Similar to the vault. Round off, entry on. Round off. Full on to the bar. That alone is just enormous bonus. Zamlo Chikaba from Russia, 9075 in the uneven bars. Coming up for America, Caitlin White. Our D Linem caught up with a group of teenage girls who are absorbing everything they can while traveling down under. When we think of elite gymnasts, the likes of 22-year-old Svetlana Horkina comes to mind, queen of the uneven bars. But this week at the Goodwill Games, four American gymnasts, whose average age is just 13, gladly measured their stuff against their heroes. Um, when we first got here, we saw Horkina and Zamo and, and Oxman and Chisa Beats. You know, they've all been to the Olympics, and so I thought that was neat that um, you know, we were competing against all of them. So, yeah. I want to see Guadalamere yeah. and Kangaroo and Australian. I like swimming and going, hanging out with friends, and I like shopping a lot. Bart, they were having a ball. They sure did. I asked them if they got to see a koala bear, and they said it came down to going to the mall or a koala bear, and, you know, American teenage girls <laughs> went to the mall. And now here is one of those mall rats, Caitlin White. Nice swinging. Coach can help here? Oh, oh. A little off on the ginger. It'll be a half a point deduction for the fall off the apparatus. You know, her coach, Evgeny Marchenka, told me this morning that he knows that his young ladies only have nine four start values on 
the uneven bars, so he was hoping that even though they were going to do a little bit easier in terms of difficulty, that they would be consistent. This was unlucky. back right there but she pulls it through quite well a little bit of early problems in the set missing that release move clipping her heel before her dismount and then a little short landing Caitlin White of America, 7775 on the uneven bars. And now the queen from Russia, Svetlana Horkina, the tallest gymnast at 5'5". Five five. I know, believe it or not, that's tall for the sport of gymnastics. Great, Great beautiful mom. combination right there. She had problems on the beam, you may recall, in the 98 Goodwill Games. She's also going to be performing a new trick for her. She'll be coming up a little later in this routine. Would this be her shakiest event, would you say? No, I don't think so. I think she's been quite consistent on the balance beam. She's a great all-around all -around competitor. It just really depends on what happens that mm -hmm. day. She's doing a move that she has done a couple of years ago, but very risky in terms of falling off in competition. And here it goes right here. Oh! Man, it looked like she had it. Yeah. And now to regain your composure and act like nothing's happened. That, to me, is so remarkable in gymnastics. It's definitely difficult, but when you train about six to eight hours a day, you are definitely going to make some mistakes in practice and you have to get back up, resume your routine and continue to perform and get the bonus that you know you can do. One of the things you got to love about this gymnast is she rarely goes for easy routines. Whether the competition is huge or not, she pulls out all the stuff. It's great. Yes. Dominique, very elegant style too. Very elegant style and her five foot five, beautiful dismount. Her five foot five frame, she works it quite well. You know, some athletes are a little shorter and have a stockier, or stronger build, and she's a very elegant, balletic-like body. She's 22, and she's a grizzled veteran, isn't she? She just has a, <laughs> that confidence and that swagger. Yeah, a little off on that landing there. And remember, it's four inches wide, so one inch off, you're off the beam. And for Svetlana Horkina, number two overall, and on the beam, 8 three, five, zero. Hands of Sabina Kojokar from Romania. The Pontiac American Team Cup, which pitted the U.S. against Romania and China. She was first in the Anita Bars. Beautiful hot full to a full pirouette a Dawes into a Takachev. She definitely racked up some bonus points on that combination. The Romanians have not been known for being excellent on the uneven bars like the Chinese and the Russian athletes. I believe this will come from a 9-5 start value based on the difficulty. But it is clean. Really good. Yes. Romanian performance. Fifteen-year-old Sabina Kojokar from Romania. Here's right before her dismount. Gymnast your rotation. Oh, actually, this is her hop full combination, which will be beautiful to see from this angle. Nice full pirouette, nice straight arm. Into a one and a half pirouette right there. And after two rotations, Yelena Zamolochikova of Russia is number one. And look at number three, young Carly Patterson. Caitlin White is down at number nine. And we'll be back in a moment after these messages.
Welcome back to our final dramatic night of gymnastics from downtown Brisbane. Kevin Harlan with Bart Connor and three-time Olympian and gold medalist Dominique Dawes. And look at number three from the United States, Carly Patterson, after two rotations, holding down the bronze position with a couple rotations to go. Our first look at the floor exercise tonight with Russian Svetlana Horkina. The 2000 Olympic silver medalist on the floor exercise. This is actually the routine that she performed at the 2000 Games. The music is called Pistolero. with a smile. <laughs> <laughs> she knows how to work it, does She does. Actually, she's been criticized in the past for not doing power tumbling such as that full-end somersault, so she's definitely proved those critics wrong. She had a silver on the floor earlier this week here at the Goodwill Games. Flag goes up. You're right, buddy. That'll be a tenth deduction. Oh, she showed such good power on that. Of Russia. She has such an attitude, you know, we talked to her about whether she's going to continue to compete for the 2004 Olympics, and she says, I do not like this question. <laughs> <laughs> Here's her first tumbling pass here. This is a full-in tuck somersault. Nice power, nice height. She pulls her whole frame around and lands wonderfully. And for the Russian, Horkina. Floor exercise score of 8-9-6-2. Back on the balance beat now with Yelena Zemolochikova from Russia. right there she's the leader coming into third performance we're halfway through oh my god oh. look how strong she is that she's muscling oh. that'll definitely be a half a point deduction she touched her feet to the ground. But now to regain your composure after that. And all the energy that she brought. Uh, exactly. Yeah. She looked like she was almost gasping for air there or something. That was a standing cup Arabian. Seems to be keeping her composure together right now. Like on the uneven bar, she tends to be just a little sloppy on this event. Doesn't show the kind of extension like Horkina. Known for her vaulting and her power, power on floor, mainly. Ooh, close to the end of the game. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That was a scary routine. They never seem phased, though, did they? They have seen facial expression, all of them. Here's her leap combination, and this is where she had a little bit of a problem. Looks like her head came out, her chest came out, grasped the beam a little off, She's trying to muscle it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Wow. And that's that... hard to do. <laughs> yeah, and then she says, I ah, forget it. <laughs> 
and Yelena Zamolochikova on the beam, 8-5-1-2. And now here is Sabina Kujakov from Romania, and she needs an 8-7-5-8 Barkana to move into the lead. That's a score she can certainly easily get. She is great on this event. Yes, she is. Watching her in practice, very consistent. Great bonus skills. And here she sets up for her acro combination right now. Tied for first to be in the 2000 European Junior Championship. Nice really? back full somersault. Beautifully done. From two back handsprings. Very difficult. Romanians known to be quite consistent on the balance beam. Big opportunity for this young lady with Zamolochikova having trouble and Horkina having trouble. The door's open. Remember, Romanian Dragulescu won yesterday under the same type of conditions. He was just consistent. And consistency is definitely the key in the sport. And how, what would it be if both if Romanians took home the gold, both all-around competitions? Triple full dismount, high degree of difficulty. Kojakar from Romania, of course, in the long line of outstanding gymnasts. Nadia. Hey, she was pretty good on the beam. Yes, she was. <laughs> Mrs. Bart Connor. All right. <laughs> yeah. Your face lights up every time you're out. <laughs> I have enjoyed watching you two around <laughs> Brisbane this week. <laughs> And Sabina Kojikar goes to number one with that 9-4-6-2 on the beam. We have a new leader. Now from the United States, Carly Patterson. This is the routine that Carly had trouble on in the individual event finals. It was on this combination coming up right now. combination bonus but she stayed on the beam she was second on the beam at last year's u.s junior championships nice, nice back full somersault for a little 13 year old it's beautiful talking to her coach this morning he said she's the kind of athlete that likes to go for all the hard skills he says sometimes when they ask her to do easier routines she's not quite as focused and alert she really likes to be challenged with the difficulty this is a great routine for her so far after the Goodwill Games, she'll travel directly to China for another competition. Imagine that at just 13 mm, all yeah. over the world. World traveler. <laughs> she seems pretty settled here on the beam. Comfortable. No nervous energy. You know, that's like, when I first saw her, that's what I noticed. She has such a calm demeanor on the balancing, which is so not the case, especially when you're 13. <laughs> She'd be so cool, and we're scared to death up here. Well, speak for yourself. I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for this dismount, one of the most difficult performing this competition. Yeah! Way to go! That was fantastic! Uh, As Tia Orlando... That was beautiful. ...looks around. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Natasha Boyaskaya, one of her coaches. <laughs> And here's that difficult dismount right here, round up, back handspring, double Arabian somersault. And look at that landing. No movement, no deduction whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that fun. Now she's showing she's 13. Yeah, yeah. 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 Carly Patterson, we've not gotten her score yet. She does need the 9631 for the lead. Nine, five, six, two, on the beam, currently number two for little Carly Patterson from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We've got a wonderful night cooked up the rest of the way in gymnastics.
from the network that knows drama. Welcome back to gymnastics, the women's all around from the Goodwill Games on the world stage tonight. Headlined by American Carly Patterson, currently in second place with one rotation to go. Does she go into this floor exercise right now among the medals in a more conservative way? Does she alter her approach? What is her strategy? You know, my advice really would be don't look at the scoreboard at all and just do the routine that you've been training to do. You know, she's been looking really good, very consistent. Um, just don't, don't let the pressure, don't let the crowd type or anything, you know, affect what you know you can do. And after three rotations, our leader was Romanian Sabina Kojakar. And right in back of her, Carly Patterson, who will be on the floor in a matter of moments. Those two are separated by 68 one thousandths of a point. Well, so it comes down to these floor routines right here. Tonight, we saw in the men's floor exercise, Wong Shu have a lead. This was his final rotation, his final event, and he blew it. Yeah, he did. But right now, Sabina performing a beautiful routine, nice dance, great tumbling. She's actually feeling really good out there. And floor exercise actually is a great event to end on because it's a great chance to get the crowd involved, to let out your personality, and really entertain the people that are watching you. set of circumstances. Remember, Andrea Radakan was scheduled to compete. So in Romania, she hurt her knee. The Romanians decided they were going to bring no athletes. And at the last minute, Octavian Bello said, okay, I'll bring Kozhikar and Ulmianu. And now the young lady that he brought at the last minute might win this whole thing. She's 15, and who would have thought Carly Patterson would be in the position she's in, and she's 13 years old. And remember, unfortunately, Ulmianu had to pull out from the all-around after breaking or chipping her, her thumb from the ball. Crucial landing on this one. Oh, Beautiful. God. Very nice. She got it. Very nice. Sabina Kojakar of Romania. She has to be very pleased with that performance. Great clean landing. Wonderful in her dance combinations, high degree of difficulty. Only needs an 8.521 to go into the lead. She'll easily get that. Very clean. That's a whip to a triple full. Great combination there. She had never Very competed, nice. Dominique, on this surface until this week. As you take a look at the picture. On the floor, 9062. Wow, they gave it a 9.6 start value. 9.062, a little lower than I thought it would be. Carly needs a 9.131 to win. A 9.131 to win. Wow. What a moment for this young lady. career that I've had opportunities to medal in Olympic competitions or world competitions. Do you make a mistake like that and you really do have to just put it behind you and resume on. Remember how the coaches said then she likes to go for the hard stuff. They allow her to go for a challenging routine. Play it safe. I admire that about them. Beautiful. 
beautiful pike double back for her ending. Yeah. But she's 13 years old, she's many years to go. What a heartbreak. She does a double layout for her first tumbling pass, and she's so powerful. They were trying to get the floor as many times as they could. This is a double layout, and she kind of lays it back. And she was performing this so well in training and workouts and touch. And just a little quick off the floor, and that takes away any height that you're going to make. Oh. Kenny Marchenko. Seven one two five, and that drops her to number seven. She came into this rotation number two, and now Svetlana Forkina from Russia. Her first vault. A nine eight start value. Great vault for her, round off entry with a half on into the horse, into a Rudy, which is a one and a half front twist in a tuck position, and she landed it beautifully. She is in fourth place after three rotations. About seven tenths of a point behind our leaders coming into this rotation. Here's the half turn on. Nice block. And that's a five foot five frame performing yes. that vault. Good point. Very good point. The tallest gymnast among the week here in Brisbane. Half on, one and a half off. She planted that on her knees the other day in the individual event final. Beautiful there today. She needs... Oh. Well, she had the 9.662, so right now she is on track to make some headway. Her previous vault was actually a 9.9 start value, which is very important to get those high start values so you can get, get a higher score. A veteran like this, she knows exactly what's ahead of her. It's a 9-7 start value. Oh, oh, beautiful! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <She's> loving it. <laughs> she knows it. She says she wants to be an actress, and she's <laughs> acting nonstop. She knows drama. Yes, she does. She has to be happy after that ball. That was a wonderful round-off entry, one and a half, layout, twist, vault. Nice arms, fire ears, nice reach into the horse. Toes up on the layout. Beautiful form. Nice landing. Horkina on the vault nine five six eight. Hey, Nadia Komanich there with congratulations to Sabina Kojokar, Mama Nadia. <laughs> She's proud. The Romanian legend and maybe a legend in the making. A hug she'll remember for the rest of her life. She wins gold, Sabina Kojokar from Romania. And by virtue of her outstanding vaulting tonight, Svetlana Horkina of Russia finishes number two, and Zemelo Chikova of Russia, number three. Carly Patterson falls to number seven, but came into the third rotation, and then out of it, number two. An outstanding performance for the 13-year-old from Louisiana. We send it downstairs to d -Line. Carly, your night was going so well. You were in second place heading into floor exercise. Did you know that's where you were at the time? Yes, ma'am, I did. You did. And then were you nervous? Tell me how you were feeling when you took to the floor. Um, I was feeling fine. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know. Good learning experience, though, to be a part of with such world-class athletes? Yeah. I'll definitely learn from this experience. We'll look forward to seeing you in future competitions, Carly. Kevin? This has been an outstanding week of gymnastics in Brisbane. So many thrills. So much outstanding individual triumph. The men finished up last night. And the women dazzled us with their acrobatics tonight. For Dominique Dawes and Bart Connor, I'm Kevin Harlan. So long.